welcome to my channel I mean my channel so <laughs> sorry guys so calm down welcome to my channel my name is Chris and this is AY life AY show AY, AY pumpkin <laughs> AY makanaki I'm Kana for Christ. What are you saying? I'm Christ Kana. Game <laughs> over. Okay, guys. So today we were here to talk on something regarding marriage. Hmm. Regarding marriage. Subscribe, like, and share our video. Please, if you want to be seeing me on this show, you know. Exactly. I'm a star, so it takes it takes a lot to bring me here. And if you want to keep seeing me here, you have to subscribe, you have to like, you have to share. Thank you very much. Daluko. All right, thank you guys. And to my 1,400 subscribers, thank you so much, guys. Let's make it on five. Let's make it two thousand. Let's make it ten thousand, hundred thousand. Can I hear? Amen. Amen. You get it. <laughs> okay, so today we are talking on this. So I saw a post and I'm going to read it out so you can follow. I recently heard of a church that would not wed a couple if both parties are not earning income. Each party even has to submit personal bank statements and a confirmation letter from your employer if employed. Each what? party pays a fee for professional investigators to run background checks on them. What are your thoughts? Or is this too ash or will it bring better marriages so we are here to talk on this so i'm going to start with the first statement first paragraph i recently heard of a church that would not wed a couple if both parties are not earning income what do you think about it first of all that church that think church, about it well though. I, there is no thing for me to think about this that church that church is number one jobless yes that church doesn't have what they want to do because I imagine a church of um, okay let me use one of the not so big churches that okay. we have around let's say if the church like Fountain of Faith or the Harvesters okay. like churches like that that probably tend to have like three weddings or four or five weddings in a month okay. now imagine having to go through this process to confirm what is not necessary like I mean Okay, yeah, I understand the point they are driving at. I understand what they are trying to achieve. But does it mean that if they get married, the husband will lose his job or the wife can't lose her job again? Like, <laughs> what, would they, what, what would they have done or what would they do? Okay, okay. But really, um, we're, we're getting there. But the first thing is, if both parties are not any income, they won't wear them. I don't blame them. Seriously, guys. I'm, babe, I'm coming up. I don't blame them. Because several say eh, when we talk of love, forget love in marriage. My love is good. But when there's no money, see eh, unnecessary arguments. Simple arguments like um ah, we need to buy something and the other person say, ah, there's no money. You need call. See, that one is even enough too, you know. But when everything, when there's money and you would have other things to you know talk about you have you know sure you're trying to get so now imagine no money <sighs> see it, it's for a better marriage though if they say we're not ready me you go and look for you why are you jobless how do you intend to feed no no that's wait that's i'm you, about to get there for example you, let's say let's say they focus on the guy like okay as a guy if you're gonna do wait calm down okay. calm down if you're going to get married as a guy at least have an income where you can feed yourself and you can feed your wife i'm not saying the wife zone is not um is not sacrosanct no it is but as the man of the house they should make sure that the husband about to wait has some income good enough it's not necessarily okay so are you telling me that the man can marry a lady that has, is yet to serve a fresh graduate or just finished service and is looking for a job if the man is okay and the lady will get the job in like six a year six months a year time then they come together like they they, they they put it together and they move on but you can't just tell me that because of you have want to check both incomes it's not it's it's not fair 
on those that want to get married. And what they are just doing is <laughs> they go and find that church to do the wedding. It's as simple as that. Okay, man. I don't even know what to say. But seriously, left to me. Left to me. I think the church is just trying to ensure that at least they have a good foundation. Because, you know, I but understand they, that. But they are <coughs> taking it to the limit. Now, this place, they didn't specify. In fact, they, no, they specified. They said if both parties are not any income. If both, that is, both must be any income. Each is very good. No, to be sincere, it's very good. Even if the so called person you, the scenario you made, maybe a recent graduate and all, then please, even if it's something, they, we have a number of evil students doing selling one thing or the other what's it called like affiliate marketing someone is selling something even if that is the list please do <laughs> you don't care you don't care even if it's the skill that you have are you good in um, graphics design are you good in bead making are you, it's something right but i think you should just take the whole question on the whole so now, part is um they have to submit a personal bank statement <laughs> and a confirmation letter from your employer because hey! people like Aim can actually <laughs> lie about being employed. <laughs> Someone like him can lie about it. Just you reading, let, them, let them hear everything. No, it's one by one. It's one by we one. can't take it one by one it's because, one by because one. It's, the questions are interwoven. So I you can't it. isolate. But the part of they have to pay a fee for professional investigators to run a background check on them. <laughs> on, top, on top, say, I bring. My bank statement again, you know that okay. My current employee pays me. You see, January, you see, February, you see, March, April, May, you see, the salary, everything is in the account. And yet, you still want check. me to bring my own money for you to go and do the background check. I'm telling you, who church is it again? The wife's church, <laughs> 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 she's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> She's not ready. <laughs> no, but really, really, really. I personally, I think the last part of you having to pay. <sighs> like I mean, there's there's now. what we call confidentiality. Much. This is encroaching into their confidential life. No. I mean, hey, I don't see it for, them, for look, this church it's... to have actually come up with a rule like this. Most likely, they've seen not one, not two, not three scenarios of do you they know joining that? Do you people know that? together. Do you know that? I can create. I can. You know, I can give you. Issues. I can give you an illustration. And I'll show you that these checks, if guys want to beat it hand down, they will beat it. Now I know of cases where people want to get visa to travel out of this country, probably the UK, the US, Canada, and they have requirements akin to this, something like this, where you probably have to have an amount in your account, say 3.5 million, 4 million, yeah. then and your source of income they have to check. I mean people that are really prepared to go through it. They've already made their plans every month. They make sure that this particular person pays into their account. That's over a period of time, probably 12 months. Then when they go, also they are able to borrow money, funds, and fill the account up to the required amount. And when they go to the visa, where they want to apply for the visa, they show their account statement. 12 months, I've been collecting salary. You want four million, I have four million in my account, and that's it. And when the person travels, as he refunds the money to those we had an agreement with, so what's the difference? Anyways, anyways, there's nothing to argue on. Plenty things. Plenty things. <laughs> I feel um, if you're still single and you're planning to go into marriage, I mean, you're trying to take your relationship into the whole marriage thing. See, yeah, the best is just be employed or have a job. That's the best. But which I agree. It's nice. It's very which, good. Which I agree. It's very, very good. Both but that shouldn't, should that shouldn't be like the basics or the focus criteria. Well, even even a reasonable parent wouldn't release his or her daughter to a man who is jobless. Like, well, I don't know all parents, but I want to say eighty percent of. African parents, Nigerian parents, who don't release their daughters to a man who does mm. not have wow. a job. So having the church do this is good, but I think it's just taking it to the limits of of encroaching into the people's privacy, the couple's privacy. Because I want, I don't want the church to know certain things about me. 
So why are you telling me to bring my bags up? Why are you telling me? No, it, don't forget, it's not your church. It's most likely a committee or like a, you know... Of course, committee. <laughs> committee is representing like committee <laughs> is the church. Anyways, <laughs> it's left to you or it's left to you. But what do you guys think? Do you think both parties, do you think the church is actually making a better thing? Left to me, yeah, it's a very good one. It's, Left to me, though, it's, it's, that, though it's the not, part of it's will not. it bring better marriage, <laughs> money isn't the only thing that brings you know, issues to marriage and all. There are other things, but money is one of the major ones. So I think if both are actually at least getting something, it's most likely will bring better marriages with some other, you know, <clears throat> some other factors. But like I said, money isn't the only thing that causes issues in marriage. But it is one of the you know major things. So, if money part is settled, well, most likely will bring better marriages. I think it's good. so. Let's hear from you guys. What do you think about this whole scenario? Do you think it's going to lead to a better marriage? Do you think the church is too ash? Let us hear your views. Let us hear your opinions. Drop your comments in the comment section of the video, and would like to interact with you. And also, yeah, let's see. Like me, I'm not in support of it. What about you? I am in support of it. What about you? Okay, so that's going to be all for today. But we'll watch out for more videos like this where we talk on, you know, things that are kind of controversial, things around marriage, relationship, and so many. So, guys, see you some other time. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share our links and All right, bye. Love you.